Hi, everybody. Welcome to Corvette Gazette TV. I'm Dave Reed, Corvette Consultant, Hendrick Chevrolet Shawnee Mission. I had some information handed to me today that I want to pass along to you guys regarding 22 and 23 model year production. So, since 1222, the plant has actually been going full force and in fact, overachieved the January schedule by 60 units. Now, I know I had spoken with some of you and emailed with some of you regarding uh, that the plant had been down to one shift and they were hardly getting any units out. And so that source of information that I had on that is no longer going to be a source of information for me. Um, starting this next week on 2-7, the carbon fiber outside mirror covers will be available again on factory orders, as well as the carbon fiber grill inserts will also be available starting next week. On the grill inserts, only going to be on 3LT level only. Uh, also, constraints. So, as you all know with the microprocessor shortage, not only is there a shortage of vehicles, but there's also a shortage of features. Um, on a lot of different models that we've had, they are either deleting something altogether or retrofitting something down the road once the chip shortage ends, or at least gets better. So this is the first time that the chip shortage has affected the Corvette production. So what they're going to do is delete the rear park assist, but they will retrofit it. They imagine it'll probably in the fourth quarter of this year once they, they get enough chips to do so. Now, all you'll need to do is come back to the dealership. We'll do it for you. It won't cost you a thing. Now, if you're out of town, you will have to find yourself a Corvette certified service dealership in order to have them do that. And, and I can't tell you this enough, is that when you have work done on a Corvette, make sure that there's good Corvette mechanics. Uh, we are... Very fortunate at our dealership, we have two that are two of the best in the country, and we do everything we can to keep them. Um, also, uh, constrained on the builds going forward is the engine appearance and lighting package. Now, this is due to the carbon fiber shortage with the uh, manufacturer, um, is what I'm picking up on. Uh, as well as the high wing spoiler and carbon flash is no longer available for current builds. And I think that has to do with the carbon fiber uh, issue from this vendor as well. Um, key dates for the 23 model year is that the dealer order guide will be available on March 21st. Um, ordering will be available through the order workbench and configurator on March 24th. The Configurator is the one that you, as the customer, can go online and use. The order workbench is what the inventory manager uses to actually submit your order to GM. And of course, in between those uh, two different programs, there's also the one that I use to give to the inventory manager, which is called AutoBook. So we use three different programs to achieve the same thing. Um, also... The first dealer order submission process will begin on March 21st. Uh, ADS allocation will continue. Um, what that means is, is that GM goes and looks when they are getting ready to put out allocations. They use a lot of various factors to determine uh, how many allocations you're going to get. They use your history as a uh, dealership, how many that you, uh, you are inclined to sell. The ADS is... Actually, they're looking at what is on your lot right now. So, our dealership, anytime a vet comes in, it's sold before it gets there. So, it's not sitting on our lot. So, we don't have to worry about getting in trouble with this system and losing allocations. Um, but dealers that have, let's say, putting 20, 30, 40,000, 50,000 above MSRP on their stingrays, well, those are going to sit around a little longer and they're going to lose out on allocations because of it. Um, and also, the order process is going to be different than how they've done it in the past. Uh, they used to give separate allocations for stingrays and Z06s. I don't know that this will much affect the consumer end of it, 
uh, but just kind of the process of how we do it. Because before they would have said, you're going to get this many Stingrays, this many Z06s. Now they're just saying, we're going to give you, like, for example, we're going to give you 20 Corvettes this month. But they're not going to div divvy them up. They're just going to tell us what percentage of those can be Z06s. Um, and that's all the information that I have on on the uh, production. Now, another thing I didn't want to talk about was the protection items for your Corvette. Um, and there's a lot of various things available. We've got window tint. We've got uh, ceramic coat and color correction. We've got paint protective film. Uh, we've also got accessories like uh, high wing spoilers and uh, ground effects kits. Um, in the past, those have been not available through the factory, the ground effects kits and the high wing spoiler that is, and but we've been able to keep an inventory of them. Uh, here lately, it's been a little tougher to get them, um, and that's probably because up until recently, they've been using them at the factory, but uh, we're doing our best to scratch for what we can. If that's something you're interested in, a high wing spoiler or a ground effects kit, and you know that, uh, you'll want to let me know as soon as you can so that I can dig around and try to find you some. Um, but the main thing I want to talk about is uh, the uh, paint pr protection film. This is a very important thing to get on your vehicle. Uh, and I say before you drive it off the lot, because uh, a perfect story is I had a Corvette cu customer. He was de deciding whether he wanted to pay the $24.99 for the front end film, which includes the front bumper, the uh, full hood and fenders, and the mirrors. Um, he decided not to do it. And then two days later, called me up and said he regretted not doing it because he got a rock, ch rock chip, which was going to cost him about as much to repair as he would have spent on the film that would have kept him from getting the rock chip. And then once he paid for that repair, he still could get more chips. So he decided he was going to go ahead, get it repaired, and then get the film put on it. But, you know, save yourself some time and money and aggravation. Please get that front end kit. Just spend the money on it. Uh, two other things that I always recommend for customers when they're doing the builds is premium floor mats. I guarantee every time you step into that thing and you don't get the premium floor mat, you're going to say, man, I wish I'd have spent the extra money on that you're going to see it every time you get in and out of it. Um, the other thing is splash guards. Splash guards will, for the price, are going to protect your car from things hitting the side of it, whether it be dirt, mud, rain, uh, or rocks. Those splash guards are worth their weight in gold. Uh, if, if you don't get them, you know... Um, you know, you're just kind of, I think, causing yourself aggravation down the road. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much what I have right now. Uh, like I said, if you're interested in uh, any of the things I've talked about here and you need more specifics, uh, I think on the production stuff, I don't know I'm going to have much right now. Uh, I will, of course, try to do future videos to keep you updated on that. Uh, if you have any uh, questions on protection items or anything else, please drop me a line, um, uh, email, uh, it's going to be coming up here shortly, as well as my direct line. And uh, let me know what questions you might have. Uh, but hey, thanks for tuning in and uh, happy driving.